Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to load comma delimited files into SQLite 3. I'm going to go out to the internet, get some raw data, bring it back, clean it up in Microsoft Excel, create a file, and then load it into SQLite 3 step by step. Step 1, let's find some data. Florida historical weather data. I found it right here. Florida Climate Center. Let's go there. Climate data access tools. See where it says downloadable. And then I live in Orlando, Florida, so let's go find that. Orlando International Airport. And then I'm going to go from 1964 all the way down to 2019, December. And then I'm going to say download file. So there we have our raw data. Let's go clean that up. So the file has been downloaded and here it is. I read on the website there could be a lot of missing data. So let's go find that. They said it was the value uh, negative 99, custom sort. See what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna go pick my column and it's gonna be this guy right here. Why don't we use the last one? Largest to smallest. And notice that we have all these negative 99s. So let's go and remove all these negative 99 values. So I've now selected all the rows that I wanna remove. Sort this data so we can actually see what's going on sort custom and then I'm going to sort by year, add a layer, month, add a layer, day, low to high. There we have it, uh, 1964, the 1st January, you know, February. Okay, so sorted order. We have our data. Let's go ahead and save that. And now what we need to do is uh, let's load this up inside of a uh, SQLite 3 database. One final look at this data c-o-o-p-i-d is the same value all the way through you know i don't need that that column adds no value to what i'm working with let's step through this program let's uh see if that database exists if it doesn't let's create it build a cursor create database notice i'm going to try to execute the create table command and then the uh, create index and then we're going to step into that file process so i'm going to open the file read make the iterator all ready to go i'm going to skip that first line and now i'm inside of the first row so we're inside of try i'm going to print that line number i'm then going to get the record I'm going to build a statement i'm going to execute it and notice the value for row last row id is one so it's not going to do a commit right now. So I come back up there, get the next record, and I do it again. Let's look at row ID now. Now it's at 2. Do you see how that keeps incrementing? So what we can do is set a breakpoint at 46, and let's run this. And notice now, last row ID is 100. Modulus 100 is 0, so I'm going to commit. Now we have 100 rows saved in our database for other people to view. We're just going to loop over this and just keep inserting into the Florida table until we're done. I will meet you on line 50. And there we are at 58. Let's just step, step, and we are done loading the file. So now we're going to use a tool I found on the internet, DB Browser for SQLite. If you look in the comments, I have the URL so you can download this if you want to and use this on your local computer. Here you can see I have created my file. I just created that. It's 808 KBs, kilobytes. And we're going to open that up in this tool. Open database, temperature, open. Notice our seven columns and then our unique index. Notice our three columns we use to make each row unique. Then notice the third tab, it says execute SQL. We can come over here and just type in SQL commands. Video is more about just loading comma delimited. I can type in a few statements just to make sense. Our first one will be, show me the number of rows, select count from the table. And when we execute this, it should give us the 19,262 rows. That's pretty nice, yeah? And then we can come down and do another statement, look at it by the year, and we can say, select the year count star from Florida. And then we're gonna say group by year. This is a pretty nice SQL statement to show you how many entries per year. And remember in Microsoft Excel when we said negative 99 and we removed all that data? You can see here it affected 1965. Some data got removed. And then look here, 71, 72, 73, not even in here. I removed those. 74 had been affected. Looked like a couple of the years got affected. And then if I just want to look for, you know, like a select the year, the month, and the day and the mean temperature from Florida for a date. Let's go back uh, where a uh, year equals 1970, uh, 70, and the month 
equals 1. Let's see what happens. Pretty nice, yeah? And this is all inside of SQLite 3. And there you have it, team. And there you have a simple program to take a small comma delimited file and load it into SQLite 3. That utility that I used to actually view the results while it was in SQLite 3 is pretty amazing. I recommend you download that. In the comments below is the URL for that application. Uh, thank you for supporting my channel, uh, subscribing, comments, and thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you back in my next video with something else. We'll see you.